Hello, Poker News. My name is Erin, and I'm here with the one and only Tiffany Michelle, <laughs> one of the first women in poker I personally started watching. So, Tiffany, that goes without saying, you've been in the scene for quite a while. I, I, me, I personally have watched you as a woman in poker and admired you myself. You. Um, how do you think that you personally have changed the game? Oh, wow. That's a that's a big question. Um, yeah, I realize this is my 15th year coming to the WSOP, <laughs> which makes me feel old, but I kind of like, I, I like getting older. I feel like more confident, um, more skilled at what I'm doing. How do I? I don't really know if I changed the game very much. I think that I mean, I also definitely wasn't one of like the very like beloved women who came through the game. You know, prior to me, it was like Jennifer Harmon, who everyone liked, and Cindy Violet, who everyone liked, um, and a lot of like the pretty modely girls, like Lacey Jones and the Erica Schoenberg. So I feel like I came in at a time where, I mean, if I'm being honest, a lot of the attention I got was just because I was attractive in a sea of men, and I don't mm -hmm. think it was exactly because I was like this great ambassador or blazing trails for women. Um, so I'm not entirely sure the, the effect that I had because I know that a lot of people didn't like me, some men and some women. So I've never really felt that um, the ambassador like responsibility role of like, here's what I have to offer to the game. Um, all that I kind of focused on was being unapologetically me and playing my best game. And that's kind of the weird thing is, I'm there to like play the best game, to beat all the other players, to take all their chips. So it, it's hard as a competitive person to sit down at a table and think about being an ambassador and trailblazer when you're actually just thinking about like crushing an opponent. <laughs> and that's what drew me to poker. I enjoy that side of things. So I think I've just always kind of rejected the idea of being an ambassador. Like that hasn't felt like me and more just focused on like, I'm gonna play, I'm gonna have a good time. Like maybe that's selfish, but I also feel like poker's kind of a selfish game. It is. <laughs> yeah. So does being the last woman standing mean anything to you still? Um, yeah, for sure. Actually, you know why it does is because two things. If I never do anything ever again in my poker career, I have that. And it's interesting yeah. to come here and see all these people that have like the dreams of winning a bracelet or cashing the main event. And so early on in my career, having broken records and made like $400,000 at that time, um, I think it's just taken the pressure off like the rest of my poker career and poker life. So I come in, I'm like, this is fun, but I already know what it's like to feel like to be in that stage. And I think because I don't play professionally and grind the circuit full time, I don't have that pressure of like needing to keep a high profile or needing to always like final table or needing to always cash. I know a lot of players like Maria specifically like always wants to grow on what she's done ahead of time. Right. So for me having done that once already and not having you know these goals to like keep doing that or build this like you know huge huge arsenal of caches. Um, being the last woman standing is like the single most exciting thing aside from amazing race that I've ever done in my entire life. And also to the fact that like it gave me a certain amount of fame in poker like that doesn't die. I kind of always say you know, Michael Phelps or an Olympic gold medalist, like you will always have a gold medal. Like no one can take that away from you. 10 years later, nobody can remember your name, but you still have that gold medal and that one thing that you did. So I for sure appreciate that. I mean, many people who think I'm currently a has-been, like I'm for sure still living on the fact that I was the last woman standing in, leaving anytime in 2008. Soon. Like for sure, that's still, if I have nothing else to talk about, like the exciting thing that I talk about. So <laughs> I use that, like I'm getting so much mileage out of that. <laughs> and the next amazing thing that you were talking about, so you, she is friends with Maria. Uh -huh. and you were on enough to the point where you were on the amazing race yes. with her can you give me a little bit of insight with that yeah you know it's I actually sat with a player the other day in a tournament and he was like are you Tiffany were you the one on the amazing easy and yes for anyone home wondering if Marie and I are still friends we are still <laughs> friends we were actually in the couple that won the amazing race we were in their wedding we all got tattoos together actually they were all just out here in Vegas like six of the the people from the show were all like bestie besties. Um, so it was definitely a life-changing experience that gave me some of my closest friends. Um, gosh, we'd love to go back and do it again now that like we're <laughs> older and wiser and you know, see, see how it goes. But I say that it was physically, mentally, emotionally the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. Um, you could not be prepared for that kind of adventure, but like how many grown adults get to just like go adventure around the world doing these crazy challenges for a million dollars. And how many people even, you know, people heard a lot of ways. It made me realize I have a lot of longevity in this game, whether or not I'm sitting at a poker table. And so to have a lot of people tapping in on that this year um, is exciting. It's cool to feel like, you know, interviews and feel current <laughs> like I'm doing some shit. <laughs> Well, Tiffany, I personally am very excited to have you Thank back. You, so you are one of my idols. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Poker News. Thank you, Tiffany. And if you ever want to follow her journey, as long as with anybody else and other live updates, make sure you check out PokerNews.com, powered by Club GG.